Tom Randolph looks like a new man when he returns to court to answer first degree murder charges that could send him to the death chamber. Gone is the long pigtailed hair that had some mistaking him for a woman when he made his first court appearance. Now Randolph looks all business as his own life hangs in the balance. Boom, boom, boom. With this police crime scene video once again coming back to haunt him. And I mean, I actually got close. Boom, boom. Prosecutors use Randolph's own words, contradicted by a mass of forensic evidence to blow holes in his story. And it dialed 911 and the phone didn't work. Exposing all his incriminating bleeps, bloopers, and blunders. I tried 911 again and it was busy. Our news partner in Las Vegas, KSNV, is there as the jury hears damning testimony from Randolph's surviving third wife, Gaina. Police say he tried to put a hit on her, too. In your opinion, do you think the defendant was trying to kill him? Yes. And a star witness, Eric Tarantino, tells the jury how Randolph vainly attempted to hire him to murder second wife, Becky. When they get to learn about everybody, you can't imagine the shock on their faces when they found out about Kathy Randolph, about Gaina, about Francis. Their minds were blown. They were angry. So were Sharon's friends and family members in the courtroom, some of whom remember warning her to beware of Randolph before she even married him. I said, I just have terrible vibes about him. I got a very, very, a uh, strong feeling. I can't explain it. He just was, I didn't like him. Alice Wolf tells the court she confronted Randolph after Sharon's murder. I said, Tommy, what did you do to her? And he said, I didn't do anything. He did it. And Sharon's daughter, Colleen, testifies she faced him down too. So, <laughs> what did you do to my mother? just knew, and I knew they, were, they fought all the time and there were guns in the house. Colleen supports the prosecution's contention that Randolph killed Sharon to collect $360,000 in life insurance. It was just a few months into the relationship and he wanted to get life insurance policies and pick out his and hers matching urns. Urns? Urns. Like what you put ashes in the cremation. Prosecutors allege Randolph had killed previous wives for the same reason. I want Tom to have everything. Chief Deputy DA Jacqueline Bluth reads the jury the will left by wife number four, Francis, whom prosecutors say was also murdered for insurance money. I have always wanted everything to go to Tom because he will take care of everything for me and Rachel like he always does. And at last, it was time for the jury to decide whether Randolph was the hero or villain in Sharon's murder. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant, Thomas William Randolph, as follows. The verdict in Sharon's killing. Guilty of conspiracy to commit murder. And in the killing of her hired assassin, Michael Miller. Guilty of first degree murder with use of a deadly weapon. Tom Randolph is stone-faced, showing no emotion, as 30 years of deadly deeds finally catch up with him. If we would not have convicted him, he would be on wife seven or eight by now. But now the jury must also decide if Randolph would have to pay for Sharon's life and any others he took with his own life. Before they deliver a verdict, Thomas Randolph's heartbroken mother takes the stand in a plea for mercy. This is where I should be as a mother today to support my son. That this jury is going to have to make a decision as to whether he uh, spends the rest of his life in prison or if he's executed. That I know. And I would not want to be in either of your shoes. And Sharon's daughter, Colleen, tells the jury what Randolph took away from her. I was five months pregnant when Randolph killed my mom. And now my daughter, Katie, who is almost nine, has never gotten the chance to meet her mother. Finally, the jury makes its decision. And Tom Randolph is sentenced to death. I can't think of anybody 
that has deserved his role on death row than Thomas Randolph. And if the death penalty is for anybody, it's for Thomas Randolph. Randolph's defense attorneys say they plan to appeal the case. In the meantime, his execution has been put on hold pending the outcome of that appeal. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.